these Tupelo Middle School students are in a hurry to get to this class. Everybody put on your safety gear. For the past two weeks, science teacher Judy Harden's classroom has been turned into a CSI crime lab, and students get to try and solve a high-profile mystery. Something happened to the mayor. He was murdered. The mayor was killed, we think, by like a tire iron. Somebody hit him with a tire iron. There is a list of potential suspects that the student investigators must consider as they rotate through various stations to gather evidence and clues. We have a fingerprint lab. Um, we have a maggot lab so that we can determine uh, how long the body's been dead. We have a hair lab so that we can find out what type of hairs were found at the crime scene and a blood lab. And they also get to perform an autopsy on a fetal pig. What's your favorite part of all this? Cutting the brain out. Why is that? I just like to see the brains come out. <laughs> what have you learned maybe that you didn't know before? I have learned a lot about uh, blood typing and fingerprinting that I didn't know. I didn't know about the agulation of blood and everything. And it's really cool just to see um, all the fingerprints, how they can vary so much from loops to arches and everything. Well, I think this is a wonderful um, class experiment. It's very fun. We get to do lots of fun things like, for example, the dissect, the autopsy, I should say, is very interesting. And it does remind me a lot of the TV show. Um, like the fingerprints, it's just so cool how you can like match it up and figure out like who did it. It's just really neat. After this week, the classroom crime labs wrap up, and while students say they've had a lot of fun, they've also gained a greater appreciation for the crime scene investigators who do this type of work every day. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.